right because they want this timber on each post it means I'm having to work in between the gaps and space it out evenly so each one's very slightly different normally I just run up with the same spacer all the time but I don't think you really notice notice the difference and especially once it's boarded on the other side the boards are going to be the same but you know one behind the other so that gap won't be getting filled but you'll still see sort of the boards you know as you look at an angle so that'd be fine all right getting there it's quite heavy this i'm gonna have a cup of tea now but i'm not worried about normally i'd avoid putting a nail in a knot Partly because it might split the wood, but also my old gun used to kick. But this thing bangs it through, no problem. And I bought enough materials to have one there, one this side, one the other side, like that. So there was enough to do this fully boarded all the way up. But because I've changed the design, or there was never really a design in the first place as to how the palings were going to go on. I bought, and I didn't stack them, I bought enough, like I say, to do the full run, but I'm going to be short. That's probably only going to get boarded one side. And the concrete, I only poured it yesterday, so it'll still be green. It might be hard, but it'll be brittle. So any wind rocking these could break that quite easily, and then it's broken forever. So. I think I'm going to leave the braces on. I might take these stretchers off. I've taken one or two off that were in the way. But I might take the bottom rail, the bottom stretcher off, that one. Because that doesn't need to be on anymore. But I might leave some of these braces on. For as long as they can put up with them. A few days at least. A week maybe. I like to leave them as long as possible. A bit low just there. There's a bit of a hump. They're going to dig this out on this side and that side, the old garage base that's over there. Let me show you. That old garage base and all this is getting landscaped, that's coming out. So all this is going to get dug down. So I don't really know exactly where the, the bottom of the fence should be at the moment. So I'm just sort of working to this side. Like I say, it's going to kick up a little bit at that side, so, yeah. <clears throat> so that's one side done. Go around to the other side. That nail gun is quite heavy. But I've got quite a strong wrist. Oh, I will have back time I've finished. Just boil the kettle, I'll talk to you. I just want to do this so I can sit down. God, imagine the olden days when you used to have to nail them. Um... Yeah. Take it forever, won't it?
Right, just boarded to there. They've done the top end because they want to do the pond, but because the bloody client changed the paling design, I'm short. So I'll get them in a couple of days, maybe tomorrow. I just need this one here up to there. I haven't counted them, but battery light. Just flashing. So I presume that means it's on its way out. Right, so I've got 30 more. I was lucky, so I'll be able to ring this morning and pick up at half nine. Monday morning. That's good. I'll get these done and that's it. So they're all on. Saved a good one. No knots in it. I'm gonna rip it down to go in that corner. Just that wide. Right, so I put the fence in, there's a metric guide on the top, and just there, there's a little line. That's the saw blade line. And I've just measured it, it looks fairly accurate. It'll do for this anyway. A little bit awkward, but I'll get used to it. Wood's piss wet through. No treatment on there, of course, but who cares? Uh. So that looks a bit better. Not bad for straight. But that's it. I'll take the braces off in a few days or a week, whenever I come back. Right, it's still Monday morning, I've just got back from finishing that fence off. And you see that blister? I quite often get a blister there when I'm doing fences with the nail guns. Maybe not as bad as that, I can't remember. But one thing I noticed that aggravated it is, you see there, it's like a little ridge. That is right where my knee, where my hand sits, look. And I put 144 palings in times four, whatever that is. It's about 600 nails I put in. So I think that made it worse though. Anyway, just start pointing that out. Hands are getting soft. I don't do it enough to get a callus on there. Just out of curiosity, there's a bit of old beach, a couple of bits of ply, and a bit of MDF. I'm going to see how that does firing a 90mm ring nail in there, just for a laugh.
I forgot to mention these Bostitch nails. They weren't happy going in the gun. This paper tape seemed to jam. So I bought some of these uh, Takwise ones. A lot thinner paper. So I can't use these in that. But the Bostitch do fit in that. I'm going to try that. This is on my 50 litre compressor in the shed here on full power, whatever that is. Power to shed one on, so the compressor one on, dickhead. It's definitely full power now. Nice. A lot more power. Oh, Jesus. A lot more power in this.